Hi, I'm Davy Jade. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming once again. It is the 2nd of October and we are in new moon as well. So happy October and happy new moon. I prepared for you going through a divine channeling at this time. I sit quietly before I do these live. Well, sort of live because I'm recording as live. And I have thought a lot about we're in Libra. How do we want to do that? How is the channeling coming through? Because there's a different way we can do this. We can do it as Libra, the balancing of things, because most people will be talking about that. But also we want to look at the balanced duality of Libra, because like Gemini, Gemini can be completely going the opposite direction and coming together. We're coming together and can push each other away. I found that over the course of time in many, many years that Libras are very, very easy to get along with. They're very good partners for people. And sometimes on the other side, they have a hard time deciding what's best for them because they're wanting to do the people please on this side. And also, they have a hard time making a decision based on that. But needless to say, what we're going to do and what we're going to speak about is how to bring the two sides of us to have that ebb and flow. Now, balance is a funny thing because when people are tipped up, let's say a little bit, let's just say we're on a ball, like at the gym, we're kind of rocking back and forth, but there's still a balance, even though it's not perfectly still. Balance is not about being 100% still. If you think of the ocean, the ocean is never still. But underlying toward the very deep, it seems as though it's still and balanced. So again, that is Libra. It's about flow, ebb and flow, the in and out of the ocean. So what we're going to do is I brought my little mirror again. We're going to go on that. And here, um, clear that out, okay, and put that in front of me. I brought two candles this time. This is to represent the two sides of us. It doesn't matter if you have little bottoms, but these are the chime candles. I've got a purple one, and I've got a blue one. The purple is for the third eye, and the blue one is for the throat chakra. And these are the colors I am choosing because I want to join these two together so that there is good communication, a flow of communication, and be able to be very aware from my intuition that's coming through to my intuition and what's coming out my mouth. So I want that's a, what we want because being that Libra is ruled by air and also it's we're in the moon of Venus, we can have a lot of things that work for us or don't work so good for us because we spoke wrong or we heard it wrong, but mainly something comes out of our mouth and we wish we wouldn't have said it. So um, I've also got this little paper and I've saved this a long time. This here is the Chinese symbol for partnership. So if you want to do something in partnership, meaning if you want to attract a mate, you can do this as well. But again, it's what we're receiving in here and what we're speaking. So most of what I teach and uh, is transformational and very deep um, change inside the psyche so that we get rid of the DNA patterns and such by the, um, the channelings that I get for people. But in this particular case, you can, you know, you can do it for yourself. And because I'm with you, I'll help you along. So these two candles. Now, what if you don't have this color? I, trusty white. <laughs> That's always what I tell you. Um, go ahead and get that. And I will say over and over again, please do not get jar candles because now you've been, it's all in case. There's nothing you can really do to help those along. And you want to be able to um, have these candles. I've already put on the sides of them. I'm going to put intentions. This one is intuition. This one is for throat chakra communication. And let's say... I want to be able to speak more clearly, more eloquently, more with compassion and gentleness. 
these two will be really good because this will go into the third eye and into your heart and come out your mouth. So I put the olive oil on here. I've decided to use that again because it's the easiest to teach you with. And I'm gonna take the first one, I'll take the intuition one, and I'll state I am intuitive, I receive intuition, I am intuitive. And I will put this into the little holder, put it on the mirror, and then I'm going to do this one. There goes my kitty. Okay. I speak with compassion. I speak eloquently. My words are full of love. That's gonna help me to have that ebb and flow. I'm gonna put that in the other candle holder and I'm gonna put them on the mirror. Oops, sorry, that went off. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the mirror. I'm gonna put them about this far apart. They will be on the little mirror, but I'm putting them about, mm, I'd say one, two, three, maybe about four or five inches apart from one another, okay? So that when I light them, there'll be space in between there for that intuition to come through, and then I'll be able to speak in the kindness and the eloquence and with love as I'm putting onto the, to the candles. And then I've got these two heart stones, okay? And these are for Venus. These are the stones most people have for love. And I'm putting those in front of the candles along with this little symbol. And I'm putting those so everything is attached. Now, again, I don't have these so you can see it. I'm afraid to tip this over because, mind you, I don't have anyone filming for me. So just trust, I've got the two candles here, the heart in front, and the piece of paper with the little symbol in front of that. So I've got a triangle there. And then I happen to have a little angel, a little angel. I have all kinds of things like this, I don't know. Anyway, I'll put that behind the candles so that that energy of our deities, our angels and guides can flow through there. And then I'll light the candles, sit very quietly and ask our beloveds to be with me. Now you, whoever it is that you pray to, and you know for me, I call in Lord Yeshua, I call in Mother Mary, I call in numerous saints and guides and angels that are of the highest of the high. I also call in Mother Tara, I call in Kuan Yin, I call in Celtic goddesses, Breed uh, and Lu. I call in different deities to be with me um, so that everyone's here. Mother Mary, if I hadn't mentioned her. So, um, so that everyone is holding hands with me my goddesses, my angels, my guides are holding hands with me and that I will be able to light these and focus on these candles and I'll allow myself to surrender so that all is well. Now, when do you do this? The best time to do, I'm gonna repeat this, the best time to do this, you can prepare this and you can do it tonight if you want, but typically until you see the crescent, which is the way I was taught, and it is the very ancient way of being taught, for I am lineaged into different um, pantheons and prayer, holy prayer workings. And it's best to see that crescent because you want the quietness before the birth. And that's what women do. They get very quiet and then all of a sudden we birth, we crown. And so that's when you can put your intention out and you can name what it is that you desire. Well, what about making a list? You can make a list on the side of things that you would like to, to speak about, and you could speak it out loud. 
So if you wanted nine things that you would wish for, I would put that, I would write that on a little piece of paper and put that to the side, and I would say that aloud. Do you put the candles out before one or two or three days, burning them a little bit at a time? I don't encourage that. I say, if you can allow them to burn the entire way through, sitting with them, that would be the very best. So I wish you all the happiness and joy in your lives. Those of the, you that need prayer, please come to me or know that I am praying for you. For it does not matter to me. We are all related. We are all one. And I will say good evening to you. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.